In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your GoPro like this as a webcam. Let's get into it. In my last video, I showed you how you can up your video quality by using your iPhone as a webcam. In this video, I'm going to show you another way of improving your video quality, especially if you have a GoPro. Now, this can even work with older model GoPros, even the GoPro 3, Hero 3. Now, this won't work with the smaller GoPro Hero sessions because you need a GoPro that can do HDMI out and have a clean HDMI out. Let's go through what you'll need. Obviously, you'll need a GoPro camera, any older model camera, any uh, GoPro Hero 3. I believe the Hero 3 white will work and the 3 Plus silver will work. Basically, anything with an HDMI out. Then you need a micro HDMI adapter or cable, and then you need a USB capture card. A USB capture card can be anywhere as cheap as $10 all the way up to $300. Check out my video on cheap USB capture cards. So let's recap. Assuming you already have the GoPro, you'll need a $10 micro HDMI cable and a $15 capture card. You can shave a few dollars if you already have an HDMI cable and just gets the micro HDMI adapter. So this should cost you anywhere between, you know, 20 to $25, assuming you already have the GoPro. So in my case here, I have the GoPro Hero 7. Now this is a great camera, has great stabilization, and the stabilization on GoPros has just gotten better and better. But there are a few settings that you need to use to get this done. And you know, this does 4K, but in order to use this as a webcam, we need to switch it to 1080p, 30 frames per second. And even though the stabilization on this is great, we need to turn off the stabilization as well. So let me go through that right now. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't set your code pro to 1080p, 30 frames per second, and you don't turn stabilization off. So I have my GoPro here. I'm gonna face it at my computer screen here where I'm recording this video directly. And so you'll see my face event first, and then it'll flip to the computer screen. And you'll see a one and a half to two second delay here. So I'm gonna switch it on my A10 mini here, switch. And you see there's that little delay, right? Now I'm gonna to flip to the left, right, left, right. So you see there's a little bit of delay there. It's about a one and a half to two second delay. Now this may not seem like the biggest deal in the world, but if you're using this for online meetings and or for live streaming, one and a half to two seconds is not acceptable. Even a half second is not that acceptable, right? Okay, so now I've set my camera to 1080p, 30 frames per second. I've turned on stabilization, and I'm gonna now do the same kind of experiment here. So I'm gonna switch this to my GoPro on my A10 Mini here. And I'm gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right. So you see there is still a very slight delay, but it's probably not very noticeable to people on the other side who are looking at your video. So remember, you need to set your camera to 1080p, 30 frames per second, and also turn off stabilization. So one of the issues that you'll have to work around is when you plug in your HDMI cable into the GoPro, the, the screen here is blank, which means I can't really change any of the settings here, right? Uh, there's reasons why you wanna change the settings, whether you wanna change the field of view or different things. So I'm gonna show you how you can get around this. So the way to control your GoPro while you're using it as a webcam, while the HDMI cable is plugged in, is through the iOS app or the mobile app. So in my case here, I'm using my iPhone 12 and I'm using the GoPro app, which is now called the Quick app, the Q-U-I-K app. So let me switch to my GoPro here as a webcam, and then I'm gonna show you what's on my screen here on my iPhone. Now I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi network of the GoPro, but if you're not, it'll ask you to join. So I can say control your GoPro here. So now you'll see a dou double of me here. So what's being shown here on the right side is what's being shown to people in the online meeting or on your live stream. Uh, I'm gonna tap on the right, bottom right button there, the little settings button, and it'll bring up the different settings that you can do. 
Now I'm not going to switch the resolution here or the frames per second or the video stabilization. You know, we don't need to change those because we want to have the you know least lag as possible here. But the thing that I'm going to change the most in this in the settings here is the field of view. So the nice thing about a GoPro is the wide field of view, right? But I can change this to linear. So it's less less distorted here, right? I can change it back to wide here, so a wider frame of view. Or in my case here, I can change it to super view. So you can see the messiness of my office here. But I'm going to switch it back to that wide view right now. And I'm going to go back to this screen. And the nice thing about this screen on here is if you're looking at the left side of the screen where my iPhone is, there's this little button here on the right side of my iPhone on the screen where I can zoom in a little bit too. So this is kind of nice if you want to do a little bit of a digital zoom. And this is while your meeting is going on. All the people are going to see is this right window here. So I can just say, oh, I, I want to just have a little bit of less distortion here. And so I'm going to change it to linear, which is a little bit tighter shot. So I want to, you know, maybe I want to want to hide this little video light right here. And so I'm going to just kind of zoom in a little bit here, kind of dial it in a little bit tighter. So right now, this is actually a pretty good picture right now. So, you know, you can really dial in the settings just with the GoPro app on your phone. So here are a few tips of using the GoPro as a webcam. First, battery life or power. If you're gonna be relying on these little GoPro batteries for power, it's gonna give you about an hour, a little bit over an hour of battery life. So have a couple of batteries on hand that are fully charged. But my recommended way of doing it would be to plug it in. So in my case, the GoPro Hero 7 has a USB-C cable. But when you plug it in, my recommendation is take out the battery and just have it plugged in uh, using drawing the power only from the USB-C cable. What happens is if you have the battery in while you have the USB-C cable in plugged in, it's charging the battery at the same time you're using the camera. So the camera can get really hot and sometimes it can shut down from overheating. So take out the battery, plug it in with the USB-C cable and then plug the cable in. You can plug it into, I have it plugged into my computer here as a power source. You can plug it into a power bank or just plug it in directly to a USB wall adapter as well. Next, turn off the voice control on your GoPro. So there's so many times where I've used this as a webcam and all of a sudden I see the red light start to blink because I accidentally you know, triggered a word to start recording or start to do different things. It's switched to photo mode randomly because I think I had the voice control on. So I switched the modes because of that. The last tip would be on sound or the microphone. Now, if you have a bad microphone on your laptop, you can actually use the built-in microphone on the GoPro as the microphone for your video calls or live streams. So if I switch here to my GoPro here, you can see I'm using my nice microphone here. But if I switch to, now I'm using the GoPro's microphone here. Now it's a little bit echoey because of the sound treatment in this room, there is none. But it does pick up a lot of ambient sound as well. So this might be good for a group setting. And so this is, you know, this is not as good as this microphone here, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, the question is, why would we do this? Well, this is a definite step up from the built-in webcam of your laptop or any cheap webcam that you have. And especially if you start to add some other lights like my video light here, the picture quality gets so much better, especially with the GoPro here. Next, if you already have a GoPro, this would be a no-brainer as well. We're trying to upgrade our video quality with whatever we already have. So this is one great way to improve your video quality. Lastly, I would say the GoPro gives you a different perspective or different view of things. Uh, I, I could use it as a second camera connected to my A10 Mini here. So I have it mounted up there so you can see a behind the scenes look. And I've done this look for a couple of videos, right? So this gives you a really different kind of perspective on things. And then I can also use it as an overhead camera if I'm trying to demo something on my desk here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really, you can do this method with any camera with an HDMI out. There's a lot of action cameras that support this. 
Uh, I use my camcorder sometimes for different events, but really I wanted to show you what you can do specifically with the GoPro, especially with the app and the different perspective of things. The GoPro is a really versatile camera that you can just really mount anywhere you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.